Hey Internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. Fatal Fame, Fatal Frame Wii U is an eShop exclusive. And Fatal Frame Made in the Black Water, if you, um, uh, the very first chapter of this game is free for download and you can pick that up pretty much whenever you want and play through the entire thing. And however, if you do want more though, you have to spend 50 bucks to, to go out and actually purchase the full game itself and actually play the whole fucking game. The game, it does actually come out in North America October 22nd and releases in Japan on the 27th. I don't, I don't know if Japan has the same type of, like, um, setup uh, as this, but, but I can only assume that this is what everybody has to fucking deal with. And I don't even know where to fucking start with this. Honestly, I guess... I guess it's supposed to be a lot like how they did uh, Siren, but Siren's case that that uh, that was a demo though. For this, I don't I, I don't really get it. It's like first off, why? Well, first off, I'm okay with it being a digital only exclusive. I I'm actually okay with that. You know, it's like if it's a game in which that you just want to download or like you just want to play for like um a. Uh, you want to download it and play it and have fun? Okay, be my guest. Now, now, why is it only a digital release and why isn't it a physical copied release? I don't know. They haven't necessarily released a statement on it. However, however, what I can say though is that I really don't get the whole first chapters free and then pay fifty dollars for the rest of it. I don't get that because 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 normally when they do things like this or at least from what or at least from what we've seen with older games such as such as uh, i would say like whenever telltale does this where enix is doing this with um with life is strange it's like capcom did this with with um resident evil revelations 2 with you picking up chapters as the game um, like as the game slowly began, um, uh, began to progress. I don't know why they wouldn't just sell chapters, cause that seems like a better mentality, or at least like that's that seems like a better business practice than actually going and just trying to sell it all for fifty dollars without actually, you know, really trying man to actually like build, or at least like trying to pull off fan base or I'm um, uh, trying man, to pull from the from the fans feedback and then slowly try and fix the game like or at least try and like add more as it goes on. I mean, sure, Telltale, I mean, like don't get me wrong, the wait I'm um, uh, um, uh, the fucking wait times for a Telltale game are fucking crazy as hell, but I'm like if you're just going to give me the first chapter free, I feel I feel as though as that it should be a chapter progressive game. It, or at least a game in which that like you were constantly working on. It's like here's chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This, on the other hand, is just here's the first chapter. Now buy the whole. Now buy the whole game if you want it. If anything, it's more or less like they're just going back to the original demo mentality of just saying here's a demo of our game. Buy it if you want more. If that's the case, then just label this shit as a damn demo. Cause I don't know why they saying like, well, now we're giving out the whole first chapter for free. Just call it, just call it a demo then. But that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section. Catch you guys on the next John Graves show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.